Welcome the back dynasty. to the Conspiracy Outpost, where we intoxicate and spit half research outbursts. Tonight, we'll be delving into the legacy of Chen Xing Huang, the first emperor of China. I'm your host, Jewel Joe. I'm Mike. And I'm Katie. I forgot my name, Line. <laughs> <coughs> Line. Now, uh, that's that's all the information Joseph got for you guys. Uh, we'll see you next week. <laughs> yeah. You run a little bear joke, dude. It's been a long day. <laughs> so, uh, Chen Xing Huang lived uh, from. 259 to 210 BCE. And do those go backwards like that on purpose? Because that's how it was written out when I was reading. I just don't know how the timeline works like that. It's leading up to year zero, and then it goes to AD. But that is, that's why I don't understand. <laughs> hey, didn't he die why? in September? What did it start at one or zero to begin with? Not with, not with our calendar. Our calendar is based. Yeah, yeah this, is, this is why all the people who predict the end of the world always get it wrong because our calendar is fucked. Yeah, but no, it's leading up to year zero, and then after year zero, it goes up. No, oh, nice. So it's he was a uh, he was ruling the emperor of China between the years of uh, twenty twenty one to well two twenty one to two ten BCE. And he was the the first guy to unify China. And then, uh, well, he built the precursors of what modern day China is today. Yeah, he he unified it all under one currency and one written language. Was that what it was? Well, he yeah. united like seven different fucking people. Like. Yeah, he, he was ba- he basically Game of Thrones that shit. He fucking yeah. st- he took the Iron Throne and he was like, "I'm your fucking king now." <laughs> he, he was Aegon, <laughs> Aegon the Conqueror. I think he was what like 13 years old when he decided to do this shit. Uh, he was. I think I'm pretty sure he was 13 when he's like, "Fuck it, taking over China." <laughs> Got nothing else to do. Probably. Yeah, he didn't live long back then, so he was, probably was thirteen, <laughs> a ripe middle aged man. He <laughs> conquered. He conquered all that shit at the age of thirty six, didn't he? I have no was idea. Fully... No, was he thirty six? Well, because he became imp- he was born in twenty fifty nine. Here, I, I I fucking can't do math right now. Yeah, give me a sec. Let me grab a calculator. Well, twenty fifty nine, and he became emperor at twenty in uh twenty twenty one. Or 221, sorry. I keep saying 20. Fucking. So, yeah, he was like 30-something. That's 30? That's yeah, 30. he was like 30. Well, I don't know if that's when he unified it, but I think he started out when he was 13. I think he was a child still hmm. when he was like, oh, I'm going to. Let me let me double check that just to make sure I'm saying that right. He was, he was 13 years old when he became king of the Chin State in 246 BC. That's what's up. Yeah, and it's saying he was 30. Okay, so his rule. Well, he was 36 was, when he unified China, so that yeah, was after he, uni- he fucking yeah. battling and shit, I'm sure. Yeah, that's that's what I was saying was I think he was 36 when he actually officially took over and became the first emperor of China. Which, I mean, that's <laughs> yeah. only fucking five years off from me, and he fucking took over a whole fucking country and started yeah. their whole fucking... So you, got fi- just, you got you got five years, Joe. Five years. Yeah, five years to conquer all of America. Yeah, see, and make the Clark Dynasty. He he was. I'm sure he was out there doing some shit, but he was. He probably. I'm sure he had some generals and shit, and yeah. some advisors and stuff that were all but, out there helping him and shit. It's not like he was like, oh yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. He was probably like, he was probably like the fucking muscle, and they're like, oh okay, you go well, out there, you win he, some battles. We'll we'll uh, we'll back boss, you up. Though. He's the boss. Yeah. He's basically the CEO of a company. Doesn't know it doesn't know what the fuck's going on in the company. He just makes all the money for it. Yeah, I mean he did some crazy shit. <laughs> um, yeah, he did some dope stuff. He uh, he was actually uh, started building the Great Wall of China, 
Well, he did build it, but it wasn't like, you know, as ramped up as it is now, but you know, he did, he did build like this, the building blocks for it. He actually like unified, unified China. That's what I was saying. The, he made the one, the currency, the fucking one language thing, like written language thing stick or whatever, whatever the fuck you call it. Like, I mean, he actually unified the, like the country together. And I mean, I, I mean, that's, that's all I got. for that. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Like he did some, he did some decent shit, but he had a fucking crippling fear of death and a fucking vengeful afterlife. Because after he, um, after he conquered all this shit, he knew his enemies were going to come for his ass in the afterlife. <laughs> like that's legit. That's what Dude. all the terracotta shit's about. <laughs> he it's was a funny. Yeah. Cause Which, uh, I learned something recently. I didn't know about the terracotta soldiers <laughs> i didn't know they were painted oh you didn't thought, know that no i didn't yeah, know as, that. Ex- as soon as they unburied it and it became yeah. exposed to uh the the, the yeah. air it like the it air instantly air. like dissipated that's why they have a lot of them buried still because they want to preserve them yeah and the people actually haven't been down there down there like in the actual fucking like well, they can't they can't get into the tomb because there's uh, there's such high levels of mercury down in there, so they can't. Oh, it's yeah. too yeah. hazardous to go down there because that <laughs> motherfucker is crazy, man. I swear. Yeah, I was trying to implement something about him partying hard on mercury in that intro, but I couldn't. I can't. My brain's not working in a comical way like that right now. You should have. I just you. find it funny that an alchemist was like one of the alchemists he hired was like, "Fuck, I need to give him something." He's like, he was probably thinking, well, "I could just kill him." They didn't well, stop bothering that's, me. That's the crazy <laughs> thing. He had a bunch of fucking con artist fucking ones too that kept trying to give him the elixir of life, and he would legit kill them because it's like, well, if it works, and you'll come back. So it's like their shit backfired because they're like, oh fuck, it's like he nah, killed dude, a lot you're... of them too. Like, yeah, <laughs> that's well, he, it's he not, buried it's not a... like he did it one at a time. Yeah, he just, he's like, all of you gonna try <laughs> try to to make yeah. me stay alive. And they're like, we can't, dude. And he's like, well, you have this long, get it done, and then we'll test to see if you can bring yourself back. (laughs) Because he he had thought they were con artists, so he's like, if I bury you, you should be able to get back out if if you're magic or whatever. (laughs) He he took 460 scholars, dragged them out of their homes, put them in the capital, (laughs) had a huge pit waiting for them, and the emperor had the wisest men in the kingdom thrown into the pit and buried them alive. (laughs) <laughs> that's so fucking fucked up obviously not the wisest man in the kingdom because the wisest man in the kingdom was that one who got a fucking harem in a boat <laughs> and <laughs> fucked <laughs> off <laughs> <laughs> a the harem of 6,000 virgin women Dude, let's delve into that from what it said <laughs> <laughs> so, so we established well, uh, before, the important, before, uh, before we start talking yeah. about his uh his so, sea monster thing. I was just going to say what another thing that he did for China. He, uh, he actually, uh, created that. Well, he built the, I don't know how to say it. it's a Ling Q canal. It's where, uh, he, he built a canal connecting the North and the South so they can have originally for military so they can get supplies down the, like through the country quicker. But, uh, there was a uh, there was some like quote that was uh, that they had. It was like in the north is the great uh, <clears throat> in the north the uh, ah in the north there's the Great Wall in the south there's the Ling Q Canal. That's what they used to say because it you know blocked him from north and south and shit. Yeah, I think I said uh, his name wrong in the middle there. I think it's this shame. guy it's sounds like if Howard Hughes was an emperor. I keep like when he went crazy. Machine. What was that, Mike? Sorry. This guy sounds like if Howard Hughes became an emperor after he went crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, I bet this guy was, like, OCD and super afraid of, well, like, germs and death and shit. Well, yeah, he, was, he, was uh, he had an, uh, an obsessive fear of assassination, but rightfully yeah, so. He had three assassination attempts on his life already, so, I mean... I like, mean, he... He went and probably sure his army killed a lot of people in all these different fucking dynasties before he united them. So yeah, there's probably some people who are still a bit pissed at him. Oh yeah, okay. he, uh, he built like a that? system of tunnels and passageways to each of his each of his 200 palaces because he said traveling unseen 
would keep him safe from evil spirits. Yeah, he always he's super crazy. Super um, <laughs> this is what I was getting at before. I'm gonna get it. Better Dude, he also it. created like lifted pathways that were covered completely with windows. Yeah, like he he would kill like, anybody in his in, palace. Like if anybody asked on. where the emperor was and they told him his location, they're like, "Oh yeah, he's in his study." He would have that person killed for disclosing his his location. <laughs> he's taking a shit. <laughs> You did two Go. things wrong here today. <laughs> One, my that bird is a shit. <laughs> and two, I don't shit. <laughs> it's a side effect of my <laughs> youth pills. It's all popping the <laughs> fucking mercury. <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah, but it, uh, with the the whole um, standardizing writing thing, like it, like it helped with cultural barriers and shit between provinces, like what, what I was saying before, but. Um, there's other shit I was trying to figure out. Not only currency, he made a standardized systems for currency, weights, and measures, and conducted census of his people and established elaborate postal and irrigation systems, which you guys were already saying. I, I have I have a a, a quick yeah. theory, real quick. I had to find a better uh, <laughs> wording of what I was trying to say earlier. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> what if he became increasingly afraid of death because he felt himself getting sicker, but he just kept getting poisoned slowly by all these fucking <laughs> alchemists? From a it's video, like, I'm getting worse. Hurry up, make <laughs> make me. In. Well, they say they say that's the reason why he led to his demise because his paranoia yeah. and his uh, quest for internal life actually led him to a more stressed and put him into an early grave because he was so paranoid and freaking he, out about dude, everything. He was all eating the time. mercury pills. <laughs> yeah, that and uh, he had a poor diet. Well, yeah, that'll do it too. <laughs> but uh, apparently, he lived pretty fucking long compared to the life expectancy of uh, back then. That's what I was like watching a video. Oh, like, really? Yeah, apparently. I mean, he died. He died like young to today's standards. But I, I'm from a video that I watched on YouTube actually today about him that it was saying uh, that uh, he actually lived a surprisingly long life for like a lot of life expectancy. Maybe not for emperors. I don't know. But at the time, people weren't. What is, was he like 49 or in his 50s? I don't remember. I think he was in his 30. I think he was 30. I think he was like just how old was he when he unified? Thirty six? I think yeah. he was like thirty nine. He he died in okay, so he, okay, he, he was, was born 40, in twenty forty nine years old, it says. Forty nine. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say I thought he was thirty nine, but he, he unified China at thirty six or something, thirty eight, whatever you guys said. Yeah, because I, I was think like, after I was like there's no way he unified and became paranoid in fucking two years he ended up dead. <laughs> yeah, no, because he started getting paranoid and that's why he started getting all that shit built. Yeah. Well, so he, because as, as far to, as yeah. how long he lived, I mean, that sounds like old for the time, but I don't know. Um, like for all the people that he had researching ways for him to live longer, there could, there has to be at least one dude who's just like portion control, <laughs> you know, <laughs> drink a lot of water, <laughs> exercise, Ex exercise and good diet. Kill yeah. him. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I didn't ask you. For me to be healthy, I asked you to give me a fucking elixir for life so I can keep drinking and eating fucking my women without having to worry about dying. <laughs> Sir, you're obese. You have a popular name among your people. Oh, yeah, what's that? It's Fortune Shi Wong. <laughs> what? <laughs> have them executed at my. <laughs> but, sir, it's like half of the kingdom. I don't care. Kill them all. I mean, that's kind of how he was, though. It's like that's, and, uh, that's, that's a lot of people that you gotta kill. Yeah, yeah, it is. Do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, and uh, dude, didn't didn't uh, Chin Chi Chin Chi Wong Chin Wong Chin Ching Wong uh, didn't he like not only like not didn't he kill like a bunch of people who said something? Against, oh yeah. Oh, that's what he did. That's. Uh, fucking someone said like someone wrote a note that the emperor was gonna die, and he's like, "Who the fuck yeah, wrote so this?" The, the and first then everybody's die, like, "We don't." And then land not will me. be divided. They're like, "What me?" Everybody said, "What me?" So he just fucking killed them all. 
All right. If no one's gonna, fe- <laughs> who the fuck said that? It wasn't me. Like, it wasn't me. Didn't right, he no kill one's him? Testing up for it. Everyone's it was, going. Okay. To the so, afterlife. so this is what happened. It was a. It was in the year two two eleven BC, eight years after Zhu Fu had left. A meteor crashed near the lower reaches of the Yellow River, and on it was an inscription that read, "The first emperor will die, and mm-hmm. the land will be divided." The emperor was uh, furious, and he demanded to know who ri- uh, who wrote it, and then. Mm-hmm. No one came forward, of course, and he had every person in the area executed. Then the meter itself was pulverized into bits so then that no one could read the message ever again. <laughs> just like everybody's just like, hey, what are you doing? Oh, fuck. <laughs> they just get stabbed. Like they knock on the door, just stabs him. He's like, why? He's like, you shouldn't have the door. <laughs> what fucking no, <note>, man? <laughs> let me let me talk about his, uh, some of these assassination attempts. No, that uh, that he was paranoid about. So uh, what you called uh? Let's see. So the these assassins, the first time he was going to be assassinated, they were uh going to present gifts to Chen Ching Huang, and uh, oh man, how do you say this guy's name? Chin Wai Yang Wu Yang W U I think it's pronounced Wu Tang. <laughs> Wu Tang. And they're not Wu-Tang. to be fucked with. <laughs> Man, these these fucking assassination tips are kind of funny. So the first one, they were gonna present some gifts with to the king. And uh, I guess one of the guys that were presenting the gifts, he had like an assistant with him that was like trembling because he knew it was gonna go down. And mm-hmm. uh the king was like, oh, Chin Ching Wong was trying to, like, figure out what was going on. And then I guess the main guy, like, leapt with, like, like pulled a sword out of something and fucking, like, stabbed at him, missed. And then I guess he just got fucking murked right there. He's just like, nope, you're dead. Second should've, time. Should have waited, like, just an extra second for him to get closer. <laughs> or too overzealous. He prematurely... <laughs> There was a, uh, there was it a, it looks loot. like you're in the wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> He's all looking around laughing. Everybody's all serious and scared. Come on, no, guys, no, lighten no. up. I'm an emperor. Jeez. I said, you smile. <laughs> <laughs> you smile. You give me that look where I just surprise you with the gift. Nah, nah, that's too excited. Be excited. Like you're being courteous. Cause it was an all right gift. But it, like, you, you gotta, why act are like- you crying? <laughs> <laughs> Suck those tears back in your eyes, or I swear to God, you'll be crying in the afterlife. What the fuck are you guys <laughs> referencing? I just ran nothing. You, this is just, it sounds like we're you're just, referencing we're just rifting off of shit. <laughs> a, it sounded like you second, guys are fucking referencing something. The second one's even funnier. So this this guy's a lute player. I don't know what a lute is, but I'm I'm assuming it's close to a flute. It, and, it's, uh, a guitar. it's like a guitar. A string. Yeah, it's like a yeah, it's like a guitar. Instrument. Yeah. Oh, is it like the little jesters have? Yeah. yeah okay, like so a, like a um like a fucking yeah like, like a, a uke. Yeah, but I, I was trying to think of what the fuck they're called the um in D and D the fucking um character. It's it's a jester. A bard. It's a minstrel. Yeah, a bard. A bard would be like playing one. Oh, I was thinking of like a flute, but anyway, so he had a lute, and the ki- and uh, King Xing Wong was a uh, Chin Xing Wong. Sorry, was a uh, was a uh, what's it called? Uh, I was trying to say it fast, but I guess Not he was impressed with the uh, no. with the uh, Gao Jillian's playing and allowed him to come closer. Wait, and then that? that's when I don't know. It's, it, how, uh, his name how's it spelled? Gao G A O. Uh, I believe is, it, Gaio? is that not Gaio? Gaio? Is it Gaio? There's no I. It's just G A O. I don't, I don't, I don't know. fucking know. You're not allowed I to think say it's that. It's J I A N. Homosexual. J N Lins. I don't know. Anyway. J I A N. Jian. Jian. Jian Lin. Whatever. I'm sure. I'm sure I said it wrong. But anyway, he thought it was a. We need Matt to get on here. He he would know these things. Yeah, so he called him closer, you know, he's like, oh, yeah, you can get a little closer. And I guess, I guess the loot was weighted with the slab of lead inside of it or on it. And uh, he, yeah, he swung it at the king and missed. And so, you know, obviously that assassination attempt failed. Dude, okay. uh, So that's two, (laughs) two misses. Are these guys just really inept? 
Or is fucking uh Chin Chin Wong uh just fucking got moves? Like he fucking juking those motherfuckers. That's that. <laughs> Like they fucking swing, you're just like, what? Oh dude? man, these these <laughs> these stories are so funny. So this one, third, like the third if it was just if it was just him. one missed hit, wait, like uh, but two, like come can on. Can you can you explain that whole thing to me again? Because I didn't. Uh... The loot was so, weighted, and the guy tried to fucking hit the emperor. Yeah, with so it. he so this so, this little this little bard is yeah, playing a little jingle for loot, Ching Ching Wong, and that. He thought he, he thought he was a good player, so uh, Chin Ching Wong called him closer. He's like, "Hey, you can get closer, you know, play a little closer." He got a little closer. I guess he just picked up that fucking thing by the neck of that damn instrument and just swung it at him, trying to trying to get one off, but uh, he missed. Dude, you know what he and that was probably the last thing he ever did. <laughs> yeah, here's the thing well, that they didn't know is that Chin Ching Wong was a goddamn Jedi. Saw that thing coming and just ducked right out the fucking way. <laughs> This is not the emperor you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> so this third time, this uh but, this wait, aristocrat wait, wait. is what? that the Gayo one? Because that was yeah. the one I yeah. didn't know. Oh, okay. Gayo I don't know how Mike said that last name. J I A N L I. Jillian. Jin Lee. Jin Lee. I don't know. John Lee or something like that. Because there's soon yeah. John. Well, is it Jian Lee? I don't know. Oh, that Lee. sounds. Like... We'll just say yeah. Jian Lee. Maybe. So, so the third assassination attempt. This one's probably the funniest. Um, Let's hear it. So, an aristocrat named Zhang Lang Lang Lang. I think that. Yeah, swore revenge on a Quinching Wang. He sold his valuables, hired two strong men assassins, building a heavy metal cone weighing about 160, uh, 160 pounds. The two men hid in the bushes along the emperor's route over a mountain. At a signal, the muscular assassin hurled the cone at the first carriage and shattered it. However, the emperor was traveling in two identical carriages to baffle attackers, and he was actually in the second carriage. Thus, the attempt failed. But... Uh, I guess both okay. men, both men were able to escape. Uh, Why does this assassination sign so, sound like it was set up by Wiley e. Coyote? I know that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, I like, like and then they threw it down the mountain and it completely missed, and then that, like and it rolled it? over one of them or something. Yeah, did well, he, he actually he, get he that from it. Acme? Wait, did he actually get that from Acme? <laughs> uh, fucking whatever. <laughs> Wait, is it Acme, he, right? They the did. They, I'm sure they killed somebody, but they didn't kill the emperor because they, they destroyed the first wagon. They just didn't get the second wagon that actually had the emperor in it. And the emperor is kind of lucky because, you know, if I was if I was going to attack a convoy of cars, I'd probably go for one in the middle. If there's only two, I'd go for the one in the back, obviously. They're not going to put the valuables in the front. And if they do, well, they get away that time. <laughs> okay, yeah, it is. It, it's they probably Acme. just flip yeah. a coin. Like Looney Tunes. Sorry. Why wouldn't you just make two and just throw them at? Well, I guess, I guess the guy can only throw the one thing, the one thing. At yeah, the, the, Unless, the well, there was two man. of them though. Yeah, but the one guy was just there to help him aim or something, <laughs> or help him get it up the down. One guy was there's one guy that was just here to help him push it up the fucking mountain. The other guy was like, I could throw this bitch. You I just carry don't, I can't up. Win my yeah, yeah, I throw. Yeah, that's what he was like. Strawman left. <laughs> no, Strawman, southeast, about two more degrees. Yes, that's perfect. Throw that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I imagine him like sounding like that. Why do we sound like this? Colonial <laughs> English. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's just so funny. <laughs> so that's that's. I'm assuming that's what it led to his. Uh, well currently like that led to his uh paranoia that he was having hmm. with his assassination attempts Dude, why he was so okay, afraid the, the first the first two are just like i'm gonna get close i'm gonna fucking beat the fuck out of him but really know, that last like shot one, in the dark <laughs> so and this you know, rich person are you sure it never... wasn't a coyote in disguise it, it could have been wildly e coyote that motherfucker's been trying to do shit with the roadrunner all this time unsuccessful yeah. who to say he wasn't in China. 
Roadrunner is fast, but he was just like, I gotta eat. I gotta eat something. That emperor looks kind of slow. Yeah. <laughs> um, he was trying to establish the coyote dynasty. So we know that was gonna go. Um, it's so funny that these attempts happened, yet he still <laughs> fucking enjoyed the entertainment from acrobatics, strongmen, and musicians, so much to the point where he had terracottas, like whatever made of those for the afterlife. And that shit's hilarious to me because I was thinking it would be funny if he had those uh, those terracotta like things made, but right behind those terracotta soldier or terracotta entertainers, there's a terracotta soldier with a blade to its neck, just in case when he comes <laughs> back to life <laughs> in the afterlife and one of them tried to assassinate him there. They get murdered and sent to the after <laughs> afterlife. <laughs> it's it's pretty crazy about all the terracotta stuff too, because all the faces that they have on all the soldiers are oh, all yeah, different. Unique. They're all unique and shit, and yeah. nothing's the same. They have like it's funny because they have all their soldiers are holding actual weapons, and uh, so he built the he built the all these. Uh, well, he had uh, he didn't build them. He had all these uh, terracotta creators built and uh he put actual bronze weapons in these fucking guy like yeah these with the play with soldiers actual, arms um, with an actual uh what's it called uh, uh fuck a different type of fucking thing coating over it so they're actually well preserved i forget what it was <laughs> i can see i can't even think right now yeah, like but oil? he had a Hey boss, are we gonna it need all a, these pikes? Nah, just put the, them on the put them on the statues. <laughs> it was another type of metal thing that he had it coated with, so they were actually like preserved when they found the weapons. I just forget what it was. They didn't rust. They were bronze, but they didn't rust because they were. Well, coated bronze with doesn't another. rust. Oh well, well, the video I was watching yeah. said they didn't. They didn't rust because they were coated with a different type of. I don't know. Hmm. Something bronze weird. oxidizes. Yeah, they were probably preserved in fucking mercury. <laughs> 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 All right, we'll take a quick break and we'll, we'll see you guys back over here. Go grab a beer, grab a fucking tug on your dick, whatever you got to do. Thank you for listening to Conspiracy Outpost. If you're enjoying us, hit like and subscribe on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, all your podcasting, listening things. And if you really enjoy us, you can hop up on our Patreon for only $2 a month is our lowest tier, up to $4 right now. And if you get on to our $4 one, that gives you access to our bonus show. You can get on our Discord. And it's all ad-free content on there. So get up on there, and uh, we'll see you over there. Welcome back. We're getting back into Chin Shing Wong and his quest for, well, immortality. Yeah, I just wanted to bring up, um, I may have been wrong about the rust thing, but it was the weapons itself that they were in. Um, their weapons, the weapons should have been in shittier uh, like uh, condition and everything, but it was, uh, they had chrome plating on the weapons is why they didn't fucking, is why they kept hella good condition. And that um, they thought that that actually came in the 19... 19- what was it, 1930s or something? Whatever the fuck it was, something in Germany. They thought that was invented in Germany. And then when they looked at these um, weapons, they had traces of chromium or whatever. So their, like, um, their metal work and shit was actually a lot more advanced than the rest of the world's was. I sure it's not Chin Chi Huang. Huang. Chin Chi Huang. That's what I said. Watch us pick up, like, uh, an Asian country from this, and they're just like, God, these guys are fucking idiots. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely probably butchering it. Yeah, probably. yeah, no, that's what I, that's because, what I said. I was like, you know, I, sorry I if know. you say it wrong, but it is what it is. Because I don't know anything. I don't like. Yeah, there's just yeah. I mean, another thing they discovered, other than that, was the horses. The terracotta horses had fucking saddles on it, and they didn't think saddles were invented till way fucking later. And they seen the saddles <laughs> on them horses, like, oh shit. It's like China just had a bunch of shit nobody knew and thought they created somewhere else, and it turns out it's been in China for way fucking longer. Yeah, it's it's has credit for a lot of things. things, like a lot of eating utensils, fireworks. Like China is yeah, like the fucking yeah. China is the origin of a lot of shit. Birthplace origin Africa, uh, invention origins China. All right. Anyways, let's just keep uh, <laughs> going. Hey, so as a uh... 
we invented Chin diabetes. Wong was uh, fuck up. growing old. <laughs> not just diabetes. We got type two. <laughs> we not only did I we think get three start, types. Of technology is getting better. Technology is getting better. We got two point oh. Different versions. You could choose your picking of any of them. We no, got you, go to, you, know, you go to the doctors to get like an insulin refill. They're like, "Oh, we got to upgrade you to diabetes 2.1." <laughs> when Chin Ching Wong was uh, growing old, he was getting desperate for his search for his elixir, and uh, he uh, he put a quest out to the people. He uh, got everybody out on this shit, and. Uh, yeah, dude. Especially, especially my boy Ming Yi. Your boy who? Uh, from the myth, Jackie Chan, Ming Yi. That's your. I thought you were gonna actually uh, tell us some shit. But no, and uh, so Matt, you know the words of that song, don't you? I do. Not really. <laughs> in his uh, in his quest to find his elixir, he fell. Obviously, he fell prey to a lot of fraud elixirs that people were giving him and uh in one case he sent uh Zhu Fu is that is that how he, is that how you would say it uh it's pronounced Zabuma oh. Fu and that actual lemur died so let's that's a sensitive topic <laughs> he went to the Zhu Fu Islands with the ship carrying a hundred young uh hundreds of young men uh <laughs> sexy sexy yeah, <laughs> men and women in search for the mystical Pingali Mountain. Is that how you say it? Pingali. So they, so he set off on this quest to go find the stuff, but uh, I guess uh, he never returned out of fear of uh, death. You know, like the consequences well, of failure, or he just didn't. He just had no fucking. I, I thought he returned no a couple times, returning. and then the last time he didn't return. No, this is this was a. Uh, is this the same guy? I think so, because he. I'm oh, pretty yeah, sure he had to come fun, back and be like, result. "There was a sea monster, bro. Couldn't do shit." Like, isn't it the oh, same it guy? Is, uh... Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah. So oh, it, the the last trip he didn't come back, but like the last yeah yeah he came back a couple times and the guy's like, "Where the fuck's my elixir?" And he's like, "Haven't found it, bro." <laughs> Sorry, Braj. <laughs> no elixir. Sea dragon. And then, and then he came back one time, yeah, and he was and they're like, Where the fuck is it? He goes, Still haven't found it. I can't get to the island it's supposed to be on. There's a goddamn sea monster there. I'm gonna need God, at dude. least like one legendary archer. And then the fucking emperor was like, I'm an archer. Fucking took his bow out there with them and they saw a whale and he's like, There's the sea monster and the motherfucker like, killed oh, the whale yeah, with the his bow. Lo- and then like they went there and there's like, oh, it's not here. And then they went back and he's like, you got to fucking find it or you're dead. The guy fucked off with all of his, with the fucking harem and the boats and never came back. He's like, I'll nice. get it for you. I'm going to get it this time. Fucked off. <laughs> and then- what luck that they, that that guy had. He was like, he was like, oh, this beast is guarding the island. We need to slay it. And then the emperor's like, he's like, we need to hire a great shooter, you know, like a great archer. And so he's like, nah, fuck it. I'm going to go. And gets up on this boat and goes out there. And what luck. They just happen to see a fucking whale by an island. And they're like, oh, there it is. Yeah. That oh, dude my was like, God. Oh, he was like, that, oh, thank God. And then it's like, he's like, bitch, <laughs> fucking lit that motherfucker up. He's like, he's dead. Nah, go get my they fucking. Lied. Ma- they that's, 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 that's why he was like, you guys like, as well? Yeah, I don't see them doing well with the fucking. <laughs> I don't the fucking emperor had a the stone engraved. There's like they killed a whale actually, once. They might have lied. And said they they like, I think they killed a the whale once. I think they lied. <laughs> yeah, a we single, killed a sea dragon. A single, out there. Yeah, yeah, no, that's bullshit. You don't kill. Uh, I don't know. You, how can a single yeah, person it, kill? They had a crossbow, and then he. A crossbow. It wasn't was, one it arrow. Was, it wasn't I'm one sure arrow. He just shot a shit ton of times. He's like, yeah. I mean, well, well, how do you know he didn't use a harpoon though? It doesn't say what kind of weapon he used. I think he did a crossbow or something like that. I don't know. Look at the time. They don't have here. harpoons. I don't know. They, no. they don't have handheld no. fucking spears to chuck at a guy. Handheld, I thought you were going to say handheld harpoons. I was like, those are spears. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but uh, I think. Still, they, yeah, but they're still I called think, a harpoon, aren't they? Even if. Uh, dude, well, it's not the like. Guy was out there, the guy was out there. I was like, there's the sea monsters. Like, oh, thank God, Yin. 
Guan Yin's the uh, the goddess of mercy. So, but like, yeah, goddess they of mercy, just for sure. I, they could have been following the fuck they around in like the shallows the next to a. They had next, crossbows yeah. at the time, yeah. Next, uh, to, uh, next to the they island, could shoot almost the a mile away. It's that they were the the it, most. They were the they were the best crossbows. I don't know wait, about in current time, but obviously back. Right? The terracotta soldiers had crossbows, spears, swords, and um. Because something else. Because what I, I if you look it up, it says they're like made in East, uh, created in East Asia around 500 BCE. Uh, yeah, this and was like 220 BCE. This guy, yeah, 200. Yeah, this guy ruled until yeah, around 259, right? Around 259 BC. Yeah, then it's around that so, time because. So, did they even have crossbows? It's almost like almost. Yeah, half they the... did. They did. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, I do find that hard to believe though that somebody did a crossbow and killed a whale. I thing. find it hard to believe too, especially when he's like, "Wait, wait, there's a sea monster. I know you're bullshit me. Let me go along and yeah. look like I'm a who's, hero." Who's I just wait, he, was a a, he was on Mercury. Maybe pills it was a big ass was, bluefin you know, tuna. Who the fuck knows? You know, it or, a, it it or, or it was a whale. And it just like, says he killed dread, one fish. <laughs> yeah, but also the Mercury shit. He had to been hallucinating. He's like, "Oh shit, it is a sea dragon." And then he's like, "Oh thank God!" And then he shot. He's like, "It's dead," and everybody else cheered like it was dead too. And like, "Yeah, you did it." And it's like, "The fuck is he talking?" about he barely hit the just, tail fan it just shot how that many, boulder <laughs> think about well, think because about i find it hard many, to believe that they they shot up a fucking well uh like body and it died on impact and it also, just floated to the top if you think because how are you gonna way, be able to tell if tail? you think of it also, this way the emperor probably wasn't traveling with just this guy he probably had his personal uh little army with him and they might have shot it too do you know but, what probably happened? It probably shot it. Saying, it probably saw blood come out. And what if it did shoot a whale? I'm sure it would hurt the whale a little bit, but it'd probably just dive. Like it wouldn't stay on the yeah. surface. So you'd probably like, oh, there it goes. It's dead. And then it come back up. was already dead, like floating above the yeah. water, and they were firing on it, and it was already dead. That's probably more likely. To be honest, it was probably a dead floating whale. They're like, oh shit, sea monsters started shooting. They're like, dead. Or, or because just in they, general, they how many kings. How many kings and fucking heroes go out and slay dragons all the time? And they come back. Hey guys, I slayed a dragon. This whole, this person said we That's can't true. get this island because there's a sea monster. I will go and st- I will fucking kill it. By and he comes back with a smile. No. Yeah, proof but he didn't kill the, the guy who who could have lied about the sea monster. <laughs> yeah, but his word versus his, like who's who's like oh it's that guy's word versus the my the they want to hear the no, valiant yeah. truth like no you cares. have a leader that says all this shit and if anyone and if anyone my royal subjects yeah. says otherwise I killed him. And well, guess and what? I'm gonna raise well, 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 that's, what, that's what he did. He went out with the guy. Yeah, he, he, like, he went out with the guy. Yeah, they. Because the guy, the guy matter. came back after mm-hmm. not returning after like like six years or some shit. And he's like, "Hey, where the fuck's my shit? At? I've been waiting for you." And then he said there was a sea monster. He's like, "He's like, we need to hire a great like shooter." And he's like, "No, yeah. I'm just gonna go out with you." And then he went out there and he he, he and the he emperor he the, shot the, he shot the yeah whale and he helped himself. Clap, but yeah, I know, yeah, but he probably is lying about it. He's, he's like, like yeah, he yeah, probably yeah. shot a fucking it's, it's, flying it's, fish or something. The only oh one my god, he it. Yeah. I killed a red herring. The only or corroborator to nothing. the story was a liar himself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he lied and about the who, sea, who, sea monster. It's like who, tell everybody this happened, or I'll cut your fucking head off. Yeah, Pretty or much. he who just, the, it, well, I mean, it doesn't book. even, yeah, it doesn't even go like that. All it has to be is like, did you kill that sea monster? You see that sea monster I killed? And it's like, yeah, yeah, I did. Because you're not going to say, no, I didn't. Yeah, this motherfucker exactly. killed people for no reason. Like, he's going to, he might have drawn yep. blood. Maybe he did see well and drew blood and assumed it was dead. I don't think he killed yep. a whatever. But, I mean, that's not what's on trial here. Yeah. What's on trial is this guy thought he had the elixir of life. <laughs> Mercury. It was it was nine years after he sent him out on his original quest to to go find it, and uh, then he came. Yeah, he, well, then he didn't come back with the results, and then they went out there and uh, shot up the sea like, the sea beast. It's like they're like, hey, the kings paying me the fucking dick around, so I'm just gonna take these ships and go to Hawaii. <laughs> You want to? You want to? I'll, I'll come. I'll, <laughs> let's go I'll, yeah, I'll, white women. <laughs> let's go for it. I'll, 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 hey, it said the emperor unleashed a hail of arrows into the animal. Yeah. So that means he had a whole army that unleashed arrows. Yeah, he probably anyone, had a bunch uh, of people. Did, showed did anyone draw a picture wait. of this this fucking dead creature? Or was it too far it was away? A giant sea, it was a weapon. giant sea uh, monster fl- with arms flexing like. 
<laughs> and its face, the sea monster's face, looked like uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> they, they were probably, he was probably just wanted to be it had two barrels of ale in its hands. But I so mean, the, the emperor told before. him, I was gonna say, the emperor told him to go. He's like, go get my shit, kill the beast, whatever, you know. But then obviously the guy never returned, and they think he fled and uh, colonized what is now Japan today. Oh, really? Oh, no. That would be hilarious. At that time? Because that uh, with the harem of shit? No. Yeah. <laughs> 6,000 fucking women, apparently, from what it said. Really? 6,000 virgins, all yeah. fresh for the ripening. Okay, so so he told he told uh, Ching Ching Wong that uh, he could he could procure this stuff, the the herbs for the elixir of life, but he would need a harem of 6,000 virgins to offer their myrtles as tributes. And uh I guess he was willing to he was willing to comply with that because he was desperate. If and uh, if he was able to guarantee him the the internal life, and then he took his six thousand virgins and a fleet of the emperor's own boats, and uh, they were gonna. He just basically just sailed off into fucking go have the biggest party for the next nine years or. I think it was. I think it was nine years <laughs> yeah. until he got fucking yeah, damn damn up like, against the emperor. When they're all like, whatever, and it's like, man, you can't kill me. Man, there's a sea monster out there. Man, I got, I got whatever thousand kids going right now. Man, they're all nine <laughs> years old. Man, you can't do this shit to me. That guy's a savage, though. Like he's like he's like he's like, hey, listen, emperor, I can get what you need. This is what I'm gonna need. Though. I'm gonna need six thousand virgin to fleet of your own ships, and oh. uh, and you know just. Basically, uh, so, some some fucking you know all the supplies and everything. Okay, you got me, got me. Okay, cool. He's like, I guarantee I'll be back. Nine years go by, haven't heard a fucking word from this guy. <laughs> Ends up showing up. Yeah, there's a beast uh, blocking the island. Uh, sorry, <laughs> would have told you sooner, but you know there's. I was busy with those six thousand versions you gave me. <laughs> I had to protect them all, man. I'm a straight hero. I was um, trying to feed these virgins to the beast, you know, as offering, but it was it just kept eating them. Got, I don't know. <laughs> Casey, do you got any any more um, things that he tried to do to stay alive before he eventually tried mercury? Before he tried the old mercury, give me one sec to gander at my notes. I tried mercury. I tried mercury. I wish. I'm pretty sure I've had mercury in my mouth before, but. That just happened yeah, to if work around fish, fluorescent lights and break them against people, you know, it's just about to it happen. Taste? It tastes like shit. So let's see. We got, he was drinking his fraud fucking, his uh, Pirelli's Miracle Elixirs. <laughs> Pirelli's Miracle Elixir. You are um, mad. Your skin will get a lot thinner. Um, I can tell you, I didn't try. Being a nice fucking guy. Yeah. <laughs> killed his enemies yeah, yeah, and they yeah. was afraid they're gonna kill him in heaven <laughs> cocky bastard what if, uh, <laughs> I'm still going to heaven but they're gonna try to kill me there <laughs> I got you now but I will be safe later <laughs> build this fucking clay stuff right was it was that that's there for right Is that yeah he, so, can have so he he built the he had people build the terracotta army for him. So he had an army in the afterlife, but it wasn't just an army that he built. Well, first of all, each soldier looked different. Like every single soldier was unique. Like they had different facial expressions and shit and they were actually painted, which yeah. is something I didn't know at first. And as Casey was saying that uh, earlier, either. yeah, the, when the oxygen, like the air hit them, the paint fucking like wore off. So the only terracotta soldiers we see are the ones they always show you what they look like, but they didn't actually look like they were actually painted with multiple colors, like red, blue, like everything. But, um, nice. yeah, he had a whole army, but, and then something I learned recently that I never knew before was it wasn't just soldiers. He had, he had, because he was also afraid of not afraid of being born or bored. The, he was afraid of being bored in the so afterlife. A bunch of women, so, no, women. No, he he had a bunch of terracotta uh, terracotta entertainers of uh, strong men, acrobats, and musicians made. This I was making a joke before because he was almost assassinated by like two of those three. 
It'd be funny if he had the <laughs> he had the musicians and acrobats and strongmen all like made, and then a soldier with a blade at their neck. So in the afterlife, they, they couldn't try to assassinate him. They're just like, hey, do your job. But not only that, but he had cranes made. Uh, I think duck. He had several different birds and other animals made because sure it was I didn't know like they had technology for cranes them. back then. <laughs> no, back and, and and heavy one. Make sure he could fuck a bird for the last time. He was a bird fucker. <laughs> no. um, He's a bird fucker. Because although a lot of people, lot of people knew that. him as Emperor um, Shin Shi bird Huang, fucker. he was actually Shin Bird Fucker Huang. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, his name was Shin Swan Fucking Huang. But, uh, <laughs> you know, people won't say that. No, but yeah, he had um, a bunch of different shit. And then the horses that were made. The horses that he had uh, made or whatever, they had saddles on it. I said this earlier, which uh, they thought saddles, they believe saddles were made way fucking like way later in time. And then when they seen that, they're like, oh, fuck. Saddles have been long, uh, around for a long ass time. But yeah, he had all the soldiers fucking lined up fucking in the actual way he would formate soldiers and shit. Um, yeah. There was even parts of the thing that weren't even completed. Like you could see, he start. They started doing shit. I assume they just put the project down after he died. They were like, "All right, fuck this, dude." <laughs> because like this like, shit is fucking stupid. God damn, can we say that now? He's dead. <laughs> He's, this is dumb. <laughs> but then there was also said he had yeah all those river or whatever canal things flowing of uh, mercury or some shit. Casey, okay, so you have the the smarter words. Yeah, they. So. Uh, well, well, we'll get into that in one sec. What's that? Uh, because I think we I got into his life. It's okay. Oh, no, it's fine. No, it's fine. Uh, I was just, we, I, thought, I thought we were transitioning into the terracotta shit. That's why I started talking about it. Oh, I just, I just want to talk about him dying first. How he, uh, yeah, well, he started the terracotta to kick shit before the he died. Well, yeah, I guess so. But we could talk about his mausoleum after. After we talk about him dying, because then we can talk about the his shit. Yeah, night at the yeah. mausoleum. That's all funny. No, so oh, oh. so after uh, hey, Shufu uh, knew he was fucked and not going to be able to bring back anything after that thing, he sailed off, and then uh, and then the emperor on his uh, on his way home, he stopped at the Shifu Islands. And uh, oh, when he was on his way from the Shifu Islands, he stopped at a palace in, I don't know how to say this, it's Hoppy, I think, where he uh, got sick and he began taking uh, one of the pills that the alchemist promised yeah. will make him immortal. Sounds more and, sad uh, than Hoppy, but... Yeah, so those pills ended up being uh, just pills of mercury. Oh, and, those uh, are he's the mercury always... pills? Yeah, oh, okay. and he uh, took a already... lethal dose. I don't know why I thought we yeah. already fucking we, Well, we did talk about it, but we didn't, like, get into it. And then, so, he died that night. And, uh, <laughs> the emperor, the emperor never, uh, he never chose an heir because he, be, he thought he was going to become immortal, so he didn't I'm think there was a need to. <laughs> Can you imagine that shit? He's, his kids, like, people are just like, so who's your heir? It's like, I need one. I want to live forever. I'm going to be, oh, no, let me tell you. Emperor number two. <laughs> Emperor number three, Shin Ji Huang. Emperor number four, Shin Ji Huang. Shin Ji Huang. Dude, his whole fucking dynasty this. fell apart too after he died. That's probably why. Yeah, because like, even like he, he did didn't choose an heir. Good, I'm gonna be the heir. He did a lot of like he yeah. established a lot of good shit in in like the sense of unifying China into one fucking country. Like he he made them all one people, like one nation. But yeah. he was also very shitty. <laughs> like, like shitty. I think every emperor is kind it's, of a cunt. But it's even, yeah. it's oh, even he did funnier. he did good. After, Matthew, uh, you weren't here for this part, but he was actually the one that first like unified China and like gave him like one currency, one one like language, one currency, one uh, weight or uh, scale system. Like he made it. Oh, like how like everybody does shit in America. He did that in China. The way that they established everything breaks uh it breaks language barrier shit it makes them be able to communicate i guess they're, so, they're still yeah. go through cantonese and um, mandarin right 
but it have like written languages. I don't. They had like a yeah. I think it was like a written thing. But yeah, there there was Mandarin and Cantonese. That's the part I didn't understand. Well, because Cantonese was the old school way they did it, and then they evolved. Like they only started doing Mandarin, and it's like Cantonese kind of just died out. China is a really big country, so it's it's a complex not, fucking it, thing. Yeah, it, it's just but the way yeah. of trade. I think it's the way of trade with everything was unified under one mm-hmm. thing. That's the part I didn't understand either because I knew of Cantonese and Mandarin. I don't know what other type of shit was going on, but those There's were the big ones. Chinese, but I know that Canton, land Cantonese mass. is a dead thing now, isn't it? Like it's not really. No, I don't think so. I thought it was, wasn't it? Oh. I don't think so. I don't know. So, so after the, after Chin Xing Wang died, the minister that he was uh, traveling with decided to cover up the emperor's death. And uh, so I guess he was trying to send his body back home and uh, he had the cart with his body, with the emperor's body on it, surrounded by other carts that had rotting fish on it to cover up the smell of the decaying body. Oh, my God. He even climbed into the carriage and pretend to feed food to the dead emperor to keep up the the act. Dude, this guy was and, a real uh, bro. Yeah, I know, right? Got, and, uh, got you, bro. Obviously, obviously you know, you, can, you, you can't play the weekend at Bernie's forever. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, That's your right. Cantonese <laughs> is a dying language, I guess. You're right. Everybody found out. And then the Civil War erupted. Qing Xing, Qin Xing Wang's United China fell apart, and the dynasty he swore would last 10,000 generations fell apart within three years, and the emperor only lived to be 49. Push. But I heard, he built I heard his mausoleum. Yeah, yeah, I thought he was way. I thought he died at thirty nine, not forty nine. I was, I thought yeah, he died no, way he, younger. Yeah, no, they said he lived pretty fucking whatever, and that he would have lived longer. I mean, not way younger. It's only ten diet. years, but I mean, that's probably old for the, the day, time, that's, dude. That's a lot. Yeah, I was gonna say back that's, in the day, that's, that's, that's a long time, time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying is that he actually had a longer life expectancy than most people did back then. Ow, my chair broke. But I would like, imagine anybody in a higher aristocrat God, setting which part live longer. At. Joe just died. <laughs> His chair broke. Right, Justice car- chair just broke. Now describe to us which part broke and fell into your ass. <laughs> it collapsed. Was it like, was it like one of those videos? I feel like a turtle on his back. Back. <laughs> <laughs> He's got. Oh, I thought. I thought it was like an office chair. I was like, oh, did the gas fucking lift go in your ass? <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Pulled my office chair's <laughs> wheel off, and I sat in it, and it went forward, and it snapped. <laughs> I was sitting in a lawn chair that shredded from the ass. <laughs> you access. Oh, you should put that over your toilet. To be comfortable. <laughs> that would actually be pretty dope. You'd have a cup holder. Oh, that fucking hurt. <laughs> well, oh. Joe's in his natural position now anyway. So, yeah, I think we're going to talk about his. Uh, Joe has all the facts about the mausoleum. So, No, I don't. <laughs> he Why do you lie to the people? The terracotta. I, he had all the terracotta shit. I don't know the exact details. I did know that he. Um, it took oh seven hundred thousand men to construct the emperor's mausoleum, and it, yeah, took, it took like two thirty-six years. years didn't it? Oh, I thought it took thirty-six years. <laughs> no, it didn't. That's a different age thing. I don't know what I'm thinking of. Did it take two years? Oh, no, the, the foundation was built in two years. So what about the rest of it? His tomb was uh, built of two different fucking idea things. I can't remember the fucking names of them off the top of my head because I got a pretty strong buzz going here. But basically, there was the whole thing of being buried below ground and then like above it or some weird shit. And the way his tomb thing was built, you guys know the weird fucking not pyramid thing, but the way that thing's built. It's supposed to, like, be a fucking in-between of both. It was, like, a weird-ass thing, and now I can't remember what it's called. There was around 6,000 terracotta warriors with the purpose to protect the emperor in the afterlife from evil spirits, 
Also among the army are chariots and 40,000 real bronze weapons. Nice. They, uh... Yeah, it's fucking crazy. With the chrome whatever thing around it. Yeah, with the chrome plating around it. I guess the weapons are actually still sharp and shit, too. Well, they, yeah, because they, they, they haven't been used. I don't know about them. Well, yeah, but they said why... Yeah, but I was just... That. I was wondering... Yeah, because of, like, degradation of, like, metals and shit. But I was just wondering, too. I was like... If it's coated. If a weapon... Like, if a, yeah, if a knife's not... Like, a blade's not word. used. I was like, does it lose its sharpness? Or does it always stay forever sharp until it's actually... Kind of like, well, does it... Does it... Would a blade dole out if it's just sitting around? If it... No, I wouldn't. They're saying it didn't corrode, didn't do nothing. Like it, like they stayed intact, like full sharp, non corrode, like whatever, because it had a chromium plating that they didn't believe actually came about until like Germany and like way fucking later in time. And it turned out China, like their metal, like fucking people knew how to do that shit way before. That's what I was saying, Casey. That was the video when we went on our first break. I was showing you, or we were listening to. That it was like there was traces oh, yeah. of whatever. They had a chromium plating on their bronze blades that made them seem perfectly like they were just whatever. And I, they were saying that they didn't, that, yeah, people thought that Germany created that and they didn't. Hmm. Well, so, the like, I've that never actually seen this mausoleum. What's it? Is it a pyramid? They they haven't gone in. It has this weird whatever, but they can't actually go into the like actual physical area of it. Like, what's it look like on the outside, though? The outside, it looks like a big old hill with like a little with, a, yeah, with like a pyramid just, on the top. The way, I yeah, sent a like, picture in the group like chat. Pyramid, like oh, okay, thing. it's a it's like a long weird picture, so you'd have to zoom in. It's the very top one. It should show you with the the tomb. The I think tomb that one's it. Or it shows somewhere that? on there. I know that. The vast tomb complex covers an area of 6.3 square kilometers or 3.9 square miles. And it's centered around a tumulus and dominating the landscape. Tumulus. The tumulus has a long, was long tumulus. known to mark the burial place of the first emperor, but the scale of the underground complex was unknown before the discovery of the three pits called the army pits. Pits or pits? Pits. Okay. The first, okay, what is this? But how Mike Tyson would say, Did you see that picture, Mike? Pith. Yeah. But so, like, in the, under the, well, where the Emperor's tomb is, they, they haven't been able to get in there because there's, there's so much fucking mercury. They think that they're just, like, speculating. The thing that killed basically. him, he was probably like, cover me in it. It'll yeah. bring me back to life. Just give it I time. Guess, uh, well, supposedly the, the, the mercury things um, were supposed to represent the different uh, river things or how they led into each other. Like it was supposed to, it was supposed to be designed like the actual like, like rushing river things. Is why he did yeah, it. like so, like the whole like ceiling of the his tomb area. Yeah, it was the black with the uh, with, with pearls the, uh, on it to signify like stars. Yeah, the and astrology then, shit. Yeah, and then he has... It was supposed to represent his actual fucking, like, kingdom shit. So the things were supposed to be actually dug out, like, map right, but instead of water, they were, like, river... Like, whatever, mercury. Hmm. Yeah, so, and, like, and that's, what, that's what he was astrology. doing. Was, like, shit. the... Yeah, so, like, this, this his, like, tomb was, like, the world. Shit, man. Like, this guy's just... Yeah, and he, he built, like... He built hundreds of rivers and shit, just all with flowing mercury... And that's why we can't get in there because the levels are so high, it's it's toxic. Like you'll die. What about hazmat suits. I don't I don't know, but they, I don't. I'm sure China's keeping yeah. that shit locked down too. I'm sure they only do yeah, like special excavations. They said shit. it was crazy. They said it was crazy. It's like it's like uh, Egypt with their pyramids. Like they only let you do so much, and they're like, no, no, yeah. That's our stuff. They said it was like, crazy because it said to be it fucking filled with hella valuable shit. And it's like the only fucking whatever thing that's well known that hasn't been fucking grave robbed, like fucking Egyptian tombs and everything. Aside from uh, what's his name? The one where they couldn't find where he was buried. Is that Alexander the Great? Who am know. I thinking of? I have no idea. Jimmy Hoffa. <laughs> um, what are you talking about? You got any 
Um, are, you got anything else, Casey? I still want to hear what he says, though. So it's like, not don't move on yet. But if you, uh, let me see. let me see. Well, that's I, well, I was gonna just end it on the Melissa Liam talk because that was his last like fucking actual. Yeah, that sounds good. Thing that he did. Yeah. So yeah, that's how so I got it. After we get whoever he. Oh, I guess I guess it's it. actually uh, it's actually rigged with crossbows to shoot anybody <laughs> who tries to break in. To doubt it. I doubt it. I bet well, those yeah, strings are fucking it. broke by now. Under yeah, tension all these years. It, you guys, it was, it was coated in chrome, Mike. It's or, forever good. I, I was ma- I was mashing things, but uh, yeah, the tomb of Alexander the Great, they can't find historical mm. accounts. Like, they can't find that place. So you can't grave rob something you can't find. But I was saying uh, uh, that and fucking... Um, and the first emperor of China's uh, tombs have yet to be grave robbed. I mean, one's full of mercury, and the other one you can't find. So, hmm. Figures. Well, take us out. Thank you for listening to Ch- Chin Xing Wong. I'm your host, Casey. I'm Mike. I'm Joe. I'm Matt. <laughs>